So casein protein is a slow digesting protein source. And so the theory would suggest that taking it before sleep can help you to preserve and therefore build future muscle mass. The only caveat being you have to wear anabolic pajamas. And so there must be so much research to support this concept as being unique and significantly beneficial, right? Yeah? Bingo? Bango? Nope. I'm Anthony My Eyes Johnson here at Anthony My Eyes Johnson's Electronics. I mean, there's so many ants in my eyes. So YouTube sent this channel the silver button. And so I would like to thank everybody who engages, who contributes, who interacts, who's made this channel what it is. And the trophy means absolutely nothing in comparison to what you have given me through this experience, through this journey of around four years or so to get to this point. And I truly believe that we are making a difference in the fitness community. And as usual, I encourage you to make am I anabolic jokes in relation to sleep and protein under this video. However, be aware, I'm most likely gonna steal them. And so I have several videos of protein intake, amounts, a protein hierarchy, which I've linked below. And I'm gonna flash back to some of those videos in this video. The purpose of this video is to help people potentially save their money or avoid certain traps that are laid out in the simulation industry. Essentially where supplements are sold with false causation or marketed in a certain way that just really has no integrity to it. Now as a caveat, protein powders in specific categories vary between different brands and products. For example, different companies, they may have different amounts of protein per scoop. They may have different amounts of preservatives in there, for example. So I'm gonna talk in more general terms of what these protein powders do. And in this video, part one of the supplement series, casein protein. I think it's casein or is it casein? Who knows? And what I've done is created a playlist. So if you see that blue banner on the thumbnail, that's going to be a supplement video. You see, there is method behind the madness. And so here's a key point I want to project with casein protein. In theory, it absolutely makes sense. You have this slow digesting protein. So during this post-absorbative state where you're not intaking food regularly because you're sleeping. Nutrient intake, especially protein amino acids, stimulates protein synthesis and can generate a net positive protein balance in muscle, especially when coupled with resistance exercise. However, during the post-absorptive state, when there is no further nutrient supply to tissues or cells, there is generally a net negative protein balance. It does theoretically make sense to take a slow digesting protein to feed your muscles for longer. However, we have to be careful because when it comes to this being significantly beneficial for muscle growth, for example, we don't have the evidence. We do not have the research to support it. So we have to be pretty careful there with how we project it. And the key to it, of course, is the food you are taking. Of course, it's nuanced like everything else. So if you're taking an accumulatively correct amount of protein that day to meet your goals through food sources, you don't have to take a supplement before bed to preserve your muscle mass. There is no definitive consensus or agreement on the exact amount of protein you should eat to build muscle. And indeed, Eric Helms himself and others concluded and communicated the range of 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram. And so those are very good guidelines, very instantly. You can take that number and you can run with it. And so what is casein protein? Well, it is a dairy form of protein derived from cow's milk. It has all nine essential amino acids, which are important for protein synthesis and therefore for muscle hypertrophy. However, it does have a lesser amount of leucine than whey protein, leucine being that trigger for protein synthesis. Leucine is one of the three branch chain amino acids. And so people will falsely sell you individual leucine supplements or individual BCAA supplements, whereas actually in isolation, that's just not effective. However, taking in leucine as part of all nine essential amino acids absolutely is important for your muscle growth. But of course you can get leucine in your food. And so I'm always going to promote a food first approach, AKA yummy, yummy food in my tummy. And so really the main aspects of casein protein, which makes it stand alone, is the absorption or digestion rate of the protein. It is a slower digesting protein than whey protein. And therefore it's more related to preserving your lean muscle mass rather than having some sort of peak anabolic stimulus as whey concentrate does. And so this slow digesting protein theoretically can be beneficial because this constant release of amino acids can help to maintain your nitrogen balance to try and promote a net anabolic state. However, the other side to that is because it is slow digesting, you don't have this peak anabolic response as you would have with a faster digesting whey protein supplement. Very simply, you can think 
think of it as a sprinter versus an endurance runner. However, as you could probably decipher by now, it's not some sort of unique hack. And it really comes down to looking at protein intake as a whole, whereas the amount of protein you take in a day and the quality of that protein, meaning having all nine essential amino acids, is more important than the timing, for example. And so your cumulative protein intake throughout the day is more important than you taking casein before bed to create this chronic, long-term, net anabolic state that is conducive with muscle building. And so you can cover your bases, if you like, by taking casein protein, that's fine. It's not crazy, it's not wacky, it's not off the wall, but you don't need to. Timing would be negated if total intake was inadequate for the desired goals. I recommend everybody to be taking a scoop of casein protein before bed. And so like absolutely everything in fitness and health communication, it's up to you to take the information and to apply it to yourself. And there's also another very interesting aspect to the little research we have on casein protein, that it's not targeted specifically at people looking at building muscle through some sort of training protocol. Some of the research we have is on special populations such as aging and muscle wasting diseases. And that's really important in research. Who are the participants? What is the sample group? And so Dr. Eddie Joe has this graphic and what I love about this is the wave-like nature of protein metabolism. And I've discussed this in my muscle building series. Stimulus to your body such as eating and training have anabolic and catabolic stimulus. Catabolism follows anabolism. It is your goal to be more anabolic through a day than catabolic, a state of net anabolism. And so then he discusses the idea that since you are in this state during sleep where you're not uptaking nutrients, it would make sense to take in casein protein. And there is research to suggest that it can be beneficial. However, much of the evidence has shown the efficacy of this strategy in situations in which muscle preservation is consequential, such as aging and muscle wasting conditions. Less is known on how training induced muscle hypertrophy would be affected. Stay tuned for more research. And so as a conclusion and in a nutshell, absolutely casein protein makes sense as a supplement, but it's supplemental and you do not need to take it. However, be aware if you are buying casein protein, that it's not evidence based that you have a significant and unique benefit from that supplement for preserving your muscle mass in, for example, relation to a carefully planned nutritional intake through food throughout the day. And so I hope this is useful. I'm looking to make this a series where I discuss different protein supplements. I'm James Linker. This is Shred Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching. My next video, let's just say, may cause a little bit of a stir. Dietary protein intake is vital for muscle growth or muscle hypertrophy, which is the addition of sarcomeres in parallel. And so this is an overview, if you like, of this topic. And I'm going to present a hierarchy to you surrounding the idea of protein.